yes once again this is nelson pharmacist and uh we are still on our ulcers and in this episode we are going to look at those specific drugs which prevent acid from coming into our stomach or from being secreted into our stomach the other ones if we can have some small recap we have been looking at antacids which neutralize the acid that is already in our stomach that acid that causes us to have serious pain and among those ones we looked at um, magnesium sodium bicarbonate those which can neutralize the acid that is already there and after in the other video we looked at other active ingredients which are added on top of the other ones to make sure they remove some of the symptoms that we get for example heartburn gas in the stomach we look uh, we looked at uh, smith cone good at removing um the gas from the stomach or fragrance from the stomach we looked at very many examples where we had like uh, good syrups like relsa we have uh, we had malox gaviscon and we said syrups work faster than tablets in such cases where someone has out of pain that is that was about the acids which neutralize the acid in case we have pain but today we are going to look at those antacids which prevent the acid from being secreted or produced into the stomach so meaning these ones you may not prefer them in the case you already have the pain if you already have the pain opt for the other first ones or you can refer to the other videos we looked at so in this case we are looking at those specific and acids which prevent the acid from being produced or secreted into the stomach so we shall not go into much science of how they do that because what we want now is to look at that common person or that client who wants to get healed or who wants to get rid of that kind of pain that is always caused by too much acid in the stomach now there are very many we shall not go much into brands or different uh, those are drugs made by different companies we shall just look at what we call genetics or a drug so if you want a specific brand we have to look for those ones so now we are going to look at uh, let's look at some of those examples one we have the common one omeprazo which is um which is here this is right here omeprazo you can see the word omeprazo i just picked this brand that is one two uh these uh these drugs can be in different milligrams or different strength depending on uh, on the severity of your ulcers or depending on what a medical worker or health worker has recommended you to take for example my price you can uh, you can be taking 200 or 400 depending on what your health worker has put you on uh, another example of my is this one then the most common one this one there are very many of them which may which which may not exist now so that is omeprazole we have rabeprazole uh, an example is um is this one it's an example of rabeprazole 
it also works in that same way. Another example we have isomeprazole, which is um, like this one. This is a brand called Nexium, 40 milligrams. This one also, uh, like we said, has different milligrams, 40, 20, and the like. So those ones, the first ones we have uh, mentioned. Uh, we also have pantoprazole and others they have the way their own way in scientific terms they stop or prevent too much acid from entering or being secreted into your stomach then other examples we have uh, smetidine ranitidine and others so they are good. This is an example of cimetidine. And the, these, uh, these drugs can appear in uh, tablets or IVs. For example, meprazole in, is, in is in IV form, ranitidine is in IV form, so Yumsa can give them to you in any required strength dose or form so now uh, there are other just like we had in the first uh, in the other in, in the previous video even these drugs they tend to add some other ingredients onto these ones to make sure you also remove some of those symptoms that come along with ulcers for example vomiting in such a case we have um, an example of this esophag d can have a look at esophag d where it contains esomeprazole you have seen what it does and dompeldon dompeldon in this case prevents vomiting in case someone has serious ulcers and uh, they always get attacks of vomiting or nausea they are always given an example of this a combination this one prevents acid from coming at the same time prevents vomiting another example is for example pantop d it has pantoprazole which prevents the acid from coming into the stomach or from being produced into the stomach or from being secreted into the stomach you can use any any language you want uh, any uh, any words you want so it has pantoprazole which prevents acid from coming into the stomach and at the same time has domperidon which is good for prevention of vomiting so those are some of the examples we have and uh, more so these drugs are always given some of uh, some of you may wonder why they always tell you take omeprazole in the morning before you eat or this or that the reason is very simple you know when you eat uh, there is uh, food always stimulates the gastric walls they are always cells are uh, to produce gastric juice or let's just say to produce acids and enzymes into the stomach to break down the food you eat so in this case they always tell you to take it in the morning so that it can help you they say take it in the morning before you eat like um one hour before you eat simply because they want these drugs to 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 reach a blood and they start preventing this acid from coming into the stomach even if you think about food even if you eat at least some regulated amount of acids can come into your stomach and they start and and, and at least they don't uh, cause you pain or disturb you that's why that's the reason they always tell you to take them before 
food and most preferably in the morning so that they help you to work and prevent that kind of acid or these other things like vomiting the whole the whole day so our dear clients always take these antacids in the morning or if you happen to take it uh, during the day it's better you take it before you eat so that it can prevent that kind of acid too much acid from being produced into the stomach and it causes you and it causes you pain uh, for more information you can just tap into that link go to my youtube channel click on subscribe so that you can always watch these videos in case you forget anything if you want to ask anything you can go into comment section ask anything you want and we discuss from there may we uh, of course we may not have time to discuss everything in this video just go into the comment section and ask anything you want about the topic that we have discussed or any other thing that is not related to the video as long as it's medicine can still discuss thank you very much